Hey, welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we are going to talk about a nice little feature that's compatibility mode in Windows 8. Uh, compatibility mode um, started somewhere in uh, Windows 2000 or Windows XP, I believe. And um, I'm not even sure, maybe Windows 98 at some type, but uh, I, the, the farthest I remember of compatibility mode is actually Windows XP. Um, Windows works really hard in trying to make Windows compatible with old software. Um, it does a good job at it, but it cannot always be the best way to do it. Um, what happens is that even though it's called Windows, each version of Windows, they um, modify the core of the Windows. And uh, some versions actually get enough modifications that the compatibility with old stuff gets a little problematic. Um, the rule of thumb is that when you're past two versions of Windows, so for example, you got that Windows XP software. Um, possible that it's going to work in Windows Vista. More improbable in Windows 7. And quite frankly, I don't believe that Windows XP software has a very high chance of working in Windows 8. But it doesn't mean that it won't. And that's where the compatibility mode might be useful. Um, in Windows 8 and Windows 7, they've done a good job of actually having a list of programs that they just know it doesn't work well. And it's going to tell you right there. Well, you know, this piece of software is has known issues with this version of Windows, so uh, sorry. But lots of software will actually have no information and you're gonna say hmm is it gonna work is it not gonna work how do I know so um, first things first you should just you know install the piece of software that you really really need and be careful uh, before installing old software just try to uh, think about do you really need it that's the biggest question you should ask yourself before installing an old piece of software in Windows. Do I really need it? Because if you answer, well, I'm not sure or no, don't install it. Because installing old software can actually cause a higher amount of problems in uh, Windows. And um, having old software installed can actually make Windows unstable or crash more. So, first question, do I really need it? Second question, okay, yeah, it's a software that I really need, maybe because it's not made anymore, and that's the only version, it's something you're using, that you really, really need. What can I do, actually, to make it work? Well, you can, first of all, install it, follow the instructions, and once it's installed, click on the icon. If it works, well, it's pretty cool. You've got a piece of software that still works. If it doesn't work, well, there's another way you can install a piece of software and it's by using compatibility mode. So if you can install it right from the start, um, let's go for example to, um, I'll go into the downloads because I'll see that in the downloads I'll have a piece of software probably to can install. So um, if for example I have a very old version of a program, what you can do, for example, here, Air Parrot, uh, is right click on the file that you need to install. And when you click on this file, you actually have in the properties compatibility at the top. So you can use the run compatibility troubleshooter. If you run the compatibility troubleshooter, it's actually going to try to analyze and do tell you what um, what settings you should actually choose. You can just put a check mark here for example run this program in and then you choose previous versions of Windows. 
Now keep in mind that a lot of the software in Windows 7 and Windows Vista you could choose Windows 98, uh, Windows XP, Windows 2000. Uh, if you noticed here they just put previous versions of Windows. So basically the computer will kind of put itself in a special mode where it will, it's going to try to uh, make old software work. Um, if there are some special video settings for that piece of software you can click here well uh, reduced color mode so you can change it into something that's more like um, a 16 16 bit or 8 bit or whatever you can change the um, run in a special screen resolution and um, one of the probably the most important features is that since Windows uh, Vista 7 and 8 have much more security um, you might want to just check the uh, run this program as an administrator to make sure that it has all the privileges when it installs. Once you've chosen the good mode you click the apply button, you click the OK button and uh, double click and start installing the program and see if it works. Compatibility mode is a hit and miss operation. I don't believe that you, um, if, if your software is really old, I don't think you have more than a 50-50 chance of having it work in Windows 8. And uh, of course, if your software is made for Windows 7 or Vista, there's a pretty good chance it works in Windows 8. I've had a very high success rate on uh, most um, software that were actually designed for Windows 7 so um, it seems that the core of Windows 8 is not changed enough for a lot of those software to work so um, if it still doesn't work even though it may, it's made for Windows 7 well you can actually go and right click go to properties and click the uh, compatibility mode and install and try to make it work um, sometimes it installs well but it just doesn't work what you can do is the same thing you just go into your uh, file explorer go where the program is located which is most of the time uh, in the uh, C drive into the program x86 program files go into the program itself and right click and say okay properties I want this program in compatibility mode and run this program and here you'll have a choice of operating system choose the operating system that it was designed for if for example on the package or on the software site it says um, Windows XP well choose Windows XP if it specifies Windows XP service pack 2 or 3 uh, choose what is available here that matches the best if it gives you several versions of Windows, uh, for example, runs an XP and Vista, um, try Vista first, and if it doesn't work, then go and try XP. So you'll have a full list here. Uh, the only thing you need to remember is where is located the uh, original program. So um, usually it's on the C drive into the program files x86. So uh, that's compatibility mode for you and um, remember that running this program as an administrator might be a good idea for most old programs to um, really give access to all of them. So um, hope this helps and that you enjoy uh, these uh, videos. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, let us know. If you got that new machine and you're learning how to use Windows 8, um, well, just click the subscribe button on the channel and you'll be informed when new videos are online. And um, if you also have a, um, a, a new machine and want to learn more, we have lots of videos showing you how to do a lot of stuff and we'll have so much more coming up also. So I think this is a great way to learn to use Windows 8 on your brand new computer. So I uh, hope it helps and that you come back to our channel. Thanks for watching and hope you come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Bye-bye.